welcome back to the council. So in the last episode, we failed Napoleon's social interaction near a cliff. So it could have gone worse. Let's see what this episode has in store for us. Okay, the next reading. Rules of civility and decent behavior. Ooh, should we learn manners? Parallel Lives, a series of biographies of illustrious men providing much information on their lives. Uh, let's do manners or etiquette. Gotta find the place where all eyes size you up. Oh no. Where would that be? Butterfly. Any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, uh, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, Your Eminence. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. Yes, it is nervous. typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I How should you think you are us? beginning to worry. To tell you the truth, not really. Liar. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. pages out of an old encyclopedia, a Byzant from the Byzantine Empire, a coin often used during the St. Louis era. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. 
and she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Amber crystals. was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left-hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah! the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. This hero is the only one holding a weapon. It seems obvious that he's the one whose job is to cut off her head. So, sword toward the Medusa. The statue is darker on the right-hand side. It must be often placed towards the fire, which would explain the difference in color. In that case, it would be facing the Medusa. Perfect for the coup de grace. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa, so what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No, that makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. Bouncing light off the 
I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Pretty smart. But it also means I have to make sure I get the shield position just right. Looks right, but nothing's happening. Maybe, in this position, the hero with the shield is just dazzling his colleague. Good point. If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa, so what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No, that makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm, I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. For Pete's sake, Emily! You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop you're fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam.
A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, shut up. In other words, you haven't even opened one. Pound. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. It talks about his passion for art. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's Laurel Reef. Do you know why laurel wreaths are used and not, say, mistletoe or another plant? The laurel wreath symbolized glory in Roman times. In your opinion, what kind would suit me best? Mm, a crown of nettles. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. It's pointy. It really does look like Joan of Arc's sword. The famous Maid of Orléans. One of your favorite historical heroines. You bet. Given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? I'm the one that moved. You haven't moved an inch. A fragment of amber. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old, and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art, or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. 
Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Mortimer's letter, my mother's message in the book, the Golden Order, what more do you need as proof of my goodwill? I freely admit that my wary side does get the better of me sometimes. Wary? Yeah, like a wild animal. Don't exaggerate. But that's what I like about you. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese, but I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses, and there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yes. You're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about me. I shouldn't have said that. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler, so... Your partner is... We don't really... Are there other women other than Emily and... Oh, what's her name? The sick one? But are there any men that would... Be... What do you guys think? Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. Wow. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. I could guess. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one. Then for the other, we dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. 
When we accept a mission, we both turn up. You're not your sister. This time, though, she went ahead, and how I was meant to wait for her sister. on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details, so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from Holm, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. Wow, I found out a lot. I like Emily. She's cool. Okay, I think this is a good spot to stop. Thank you for watching. And sorry about so that little uh, audio blunder. Hopefully I'll get everything fixed and figured out. Thank you. Bye.